In this tutorial, you will learn how to reframe 360 degree videos in DaVinci Resolve. In my opinion, it is much better than Insta360 Studio, and it is also 100% free to use. So the first thing we need to do is download the Carta VR plugin for DaVinci Resolve. Normally, reframing 360 content is not possible in Resolve, so this plugin is required. Click the link in the description below to go to the download website. Scroll down until you see the yellow installer button, and then double click to download it. Open DaVinci Resolve and create a new project. Then, click here to go to the Fusion page. Drag and drop the newly downloaded file into Resolve, and click Install and Launch. This loading screen will pop up. When the loading screen is done, it may bring up this folder, but you can just exit out as it doesn't matter. Now, we will need to wait a while while DaVinci Resolve reads the file. This took around 2 minutes for me. When it's done, it will bring up this new menu. Click on the Carterverse option on the left side of the screen, then scroll down until you see Reframe 360 Ultra, and then click the checkbox to download it. Now, you can exit out this window and you should be good to go. Right click in this area over here and select Timelines and then create new timeline. This menu will then pop up. Uncheck Use Project Settings and then click Format. Now, you're going to want to set the timeline to 3840 by 2160, which is a 4K timeline. This is the highest resolution you can go with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Then, change the timeline frame rate to 29.97. Lastly, Set this to stretch frame to all corners, and then click create. If you forget to use the stretch frame to all corners, there will be black circles at the top and bottom of your videos, so this is a very important step. Before we can use DaVinci Resolve to reframe, we first need to get 360 video clip. Open your desired clip into Insta360 Studio and export it. Instead of exporting the reframe video though, Click here to export it as a 360 degree video. Wait for it to export and then drag and drop the video into Resolve. The video may look a little funny right now, but don't worry, we will fix it later. Under the Toolbox tab, find the Effects panel. Click on that and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. Then drag the Reframe Ultra effect onto your clip. Now, your clip no longer looks like the weird 360 degree view, and instead looks normal. Click on your clip and then click the Inspector button at the top right corner. Then click Effects. These are the controls for reframing your video. There are 5 different things that you can change. The Field of View, Pitch, Yaw, Roll, and Rectilinear Projection, which is also known as Distortion Control. Don't mess with the tiny planet projection as it ends up looking very weird. To start off, I always set the field of view to around 0.6 and then put my subject in the center of the frame. Also, change the rectilinear projection to 1 to get rid of all the distortion. Then click the little circles next to the things you want to change. This makes a keyframe. In this case, I want to change all the settings so I will select every single circle. Now go forward in your clip and change the view using the slider wheels. This time, keyframes are made automatically, so you don't have to worry about making new ones. Continue doing this for your entire clip. When you are done keyframing your clip, watch it back. As you can see, the clip now has movement. At this point, the video looks good, but let's make it even better by making the movement smooth. Click on this button to go into the Fusion tab. Close the inspector by clicking on it, and then open up the spline. Make the spline a little bigger so you can see it better. Click on the check mark next to the Reframe 360 Ultra to show the reframe data on the spline. To get all the data in frame, click on the small button over here. Now let me explain what is happening here. Each dot on the graph is one of the keyframes that you made while reframing your clip. The lines between them show the speed at which the keyframes transition. 
A steeper line means that it is faster, and a gentle line means that it is slower. Now click anywhere in the spline panel and then press Command A on your keyboard to select everything. Then click on this button to smooth out all the keyframe transitions. Now you can see that the lines are no longer jagged and are now actually smooth. You can also individually change the keyframe transitions by clicking on a point and moving the line. Feel free to experiment with this too, as it took me a really long time to finally understand how the spline works. Just keep in mind these important rules. As I stated earlier, the steeper the line, the faster the transition. And secondly, the smoother the line, the smoother the transition. Being able to make these smooth transitions is a game changer and will make your 360 videos stand out from everybody else. I hope you learned something in this video and give this reframe method a try.